Hi there. You're listening to the Mac Johnson Podcast. Thank you so much for your support. This podcast is brought to you by Junior Art Lab. Thank you. The following podcast contains criminal actions and or themes. Please do not copy anything you hear in this video. Thank you. It was a dark, dreary day. $500,000 worth of art had just been stolen. No one saw the perp go in or out. And from what they found, no evidence was left behind. A young man in a troubled spot was kicked out of his house at age 14 and was on his own. He had planned the perfect crime. He robbed the National Gallery of Canada. The robbery was committed and it sent shockwaves through the system. Immediately, one of Canada's finest detectives was put on the case. Mac Johnson, Canada's finest detective, arrived at the scene, pulling the security tapes, as he did. Mac walked down the main hallway, seeing it was barren of art. Hey, C, he called out to his bright and hard-working assistant, Carter. Half of these tapes are blank. The hell happened? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, boss, Carter replied, leaning around his huge stack of files. Carter pushed off his glasses and frantically typed on his laptop until he shouted back. It looks like the footage from inside the museum was tampered with, but it doesn't look like the camera was covered. All the footage from the camera from the whole month is just gone. Strange. Strange indeed, Carter replied. The person who did this was either really familiar with security protocols or just has a lot of experience with cameras. To the friendly looking, fancy dressing manager of the museum, asking for a list of everyone who was in that section of the building that night. Thirty minutes later, the manager handed in the list. He had his suspects five night guards, one janitor, one salesman, and the buyer. Each person was left alone at some point in that room. This case was going to be difficult. Carter, he called, I need you to bring these people into the precinct for me. On it! After a couple of hours, all the suspects were in holding. It was time to interrogate. Mac brought all of the perps into a much smaller room. He was behind one white glass, of course. The interrogation, sadly, was fruitless, although something stuck out to him. The buyer's alibi didn't quite add up. He quickly rushed to his computer and found the name of the buyer, Dave Blitz. Dave Blitz. Where do I know that name? He pondered. Carter, give me everything we have on Dave Blitz. Right away, Carter replied. Wait, isn't that the arsonist you arrested last fall? My god, you're right, Mac replied. Remind me of the details, won't you? Uh, sure, Carter said. Arrested October 24th, 2019. Dave Blitz led 18 houses ablaze before getting caught. There was an accomplice that was never captured. Great, thanks, Mac replied. Also, could you get me that manager back? We're gonna need him for the guards and the janitor. On it. Mac carefully looked over all of the names. The seller, the buyer, and the janitor all had some sort of criminal record. The seller had stolen from his stepmom in his teenage years, and the janitor tried to have a fist fight with a toddler while under the influence of alcohol. Well, Mac said, let's interrogate, one at a time. Uh, good plan, sir, Carter said. Who's first? The arsonist, Dave Blitz. Can Mac Johnson find the robber just like that? Or will Dave Blitz not be the guy? Find out next time on Mac Johnson. Thank you for listening.